This is my farewell message to you in Chatswood Parish. Goodbyes are always hard to say, but goodbyes are hard because there has been something good to say goodbye to. And the goodbyes are indeed a natural part of life. This has been a wonderful three years in the parish. For me, not without challenges at times, but always you as the people have been the best thing about my time in the parish. And it's time to now move on to another parish where the bishop has appointed me to. The same obedience that brought me here three years ago to a place that I didn't know and didn't even particularly want to come to especially, is the same obedience that now takes me somewhere else. And that is part of the life of a priest, is to make a promise of obedience to the bishop, to trust that he has got the big picture in mind and the best for all parishioners. And I trust very much you'll be left in very good hands with Father David Ranson and the rest of the parish team here. So I go knowing that things, things here are good. I hope I've not left things in too much of a mess. I go with confidence that we have done good things together. As I look back, I think particularly on some of the wonderful things we've done, our, our great big uh, children's uh, masses at Christmas and Easter. In fact, our, I think our outdoor Christmas masses were particularly wonderful and such great teamwork we had when we all scrambled to move chairs and PA systems and, and to assemble outside. We, we did really well. We showed that we can, we can move fast when we have to. I'm really particularly glad that we started our community dinners and I do hope that you'll get those going again in the year ahead once COVID settles down once more. I really enjoy doing the, some of the things we did during COVID to, uh, I think, to cope. We, I think our online liturgy of the word was something really creative that I've never done before, but discovered new ways of engaging with the parish in, in, in worship and prayer. And I'm, I'm so glad we did that. I'm really glad we did many small groups. We did Alpha, but we did also our spiritual exercise groups. We read books together. We read scripture together. And that for me is always one of my favorite things about parish life. And to my great surprise, the confessional has been maybe my favorite place to be because it's there. I think that I get to listen to somebody one-on-one when people trust enough in priesthood to believe that they can open up honestly and truly and speak to God through the priest. And I get to pray the words of God's forgiveness and comfort and healing. It is there that I think that I've probably been most effective or most truly pastor and priest for you. So thank you if you've been in confession to me for trusting me in that space. So God bless you as you begin this new year. In just a couple of days time, I will be packing up my bags and moving to Epping and beginning all over again. One thing I, I will do though is I'll take all the cards you've written me. People have written me some beautiful cards, some of which I've read, some of which I have not even read yet. Um, I read them when I get them, but then I also take them with me. And the coming days I'll make some times of prayer to open them again, to read them again in prayer. And I will give thanks for each person who wrote to me, you, and pray for you as I do that and then put them away. But just know that you know, if, if you've written me a farewell message, I, I take it to heart and I will think of you and pray for you with that. One of my favorite songs, a song called, um, um, oh, make a blank, uh, Closing Time, has a line that says, which says, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. It's a clever line. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. There is a new beginning for me starting a new parish. There's a new beginning for you with a new pastor here in Chatswood. And that comes from some other beginnings end, which for me was only three years ago, beginning here with you, which must seem like a long time ago now. It certainly does for me. But thank you and God bless you. And I just look forward to, to hearing every now and then that uh, the good things are going on in Chatswood. Saying goodbye is hard because for me it is kind of a hard goodbye and farewell. I don't come back and visit my last parish. I want to try and be as fully present to Epping Carlingford as I tried to be here for you. So I mightn't be coming back to visit you. I might not see you perhaps ever again. If I do see you around, it's something that I'd be very glad to see. I'm not going to run away from you in the street, but it's very hard to commit to maintain relationships in a parish when there's a new parish that also I uh, need to be present to. So God bless you and farewell and see you sometime in heaven, if not before.